It's been about two years since the human family began activating on a global scale against the disastrous military and economic policies of the 1%. My attention was caught by events in Tunisia and Egypt prior to the Arab Spring, so I renewed a lifelong commitment to activism in a new way, online. I was only one of many people in the U.S. who were paying attention. We knew the mainstream corporate media in our country were suppressing important truths about crimes being committed in our name by our government and its allies. We understood the oppressive frame of fear placed on the American people since 9-11, and we set out to do what we could. Occupy Wall Street blossomed from this awareness. My country men and women came together from all walks of life to do something. Some organized, some took to the streets, and some, like me, started spreading the news. The bridges and networks built during that process led to working on a televised journal called OWS Week. It's been a privilege and a pleasure to work with our director and producer, Nader Mokhtari, on these Occupy Wall Street Chronicles for the past year. Our U.S. crew has braved all sorts of weather and police presence to record images and voices of the 99%. Our U.S. crew has braved all sorts of weather and police presence to record images and voices of the 99ers. Our director, producer, and Tehran crew have worked their magic and created 48 weekly episodes which stand as a comprehensive history of Occupy Wall Street and the issues affecting real human beings, not only in the U.S., but across the planet. My humble thanks to everyone involved and Press TV. I know the people united can never be defeated. Another world's not only possible, it is probable.